legacy of that shield is complicated, to say the least. So everyone's favorite character from the Marvel series, Captain America, is back. And what can we expect? Next year, Captain America Brave New World will mark his proper debut as a star-spangled man. Stepping up to headline status, it will be the biggest test of Sam Wilson's life. In the Deadpool and Wolverine issue, it's mentioned by director Julius Ona to Empire that it's really his coming out show. The focus is on pushing him to his limits. In this Captain America movie, we'll see explorations of where Sam's cap stands in relation to the American government, the American people, and the super villainy that has become a regular thing in the sacred timeline. Ona teases the part of the challenge for Sam as Captain America while working within the government, is the way decisions will be made. Sometimes his point of view might clash with the president's. Also, he will literally clash with Tim Blake Nelson Samuel Stearns, also known as the leader, who was introduced in 2008's The Incredible Hulk and is about to transform into a monstrous new form. Ona says that Sam finds himself caught between Samuel Stearns and what he believes the government owes him, and how he wants to get it. The major difference though, as shown in The Falcon and the Winter Soldier, Sam doesn't have the super soldier serum like Steve Rogers, which made him a strong fighter. Even with his military training, Avengers credentials, vibranium shield, and wing pack, this brave new cap faces even tougher odds. Ona mentions, the action in this movie is incredibly exciting because this is a guy who can break. This is a guy who can bleed. Anthony Mackie is now wearing new colors and suits as Captain America, trying to save the world from apocalyptic dangers. The latest film in the Captain America franchise was announced at the recent San Diego Comic Con in 2022. It will finally be released on February 14, 2025. According to a report by Collider, it was originally named Captain America New World Order. In the series The Falcon and the Winter Soldier, Anthony Mackie was first seen as Captain America, playing the role of Sam Wilson. According to the Marvel storyline, Chris Evans, who was the original Captain America since World War II, handed over his shield to Wilson after growing old during Avengers Endgame. Evans' journey as Captain America ended there, and Wilson took over from him. Let's talk about the release date, director, and cast of Captain America Brave New World. The movie was announced a while back and is set to come out in 2025. Julius Ona is directing this new superhero flick, and it features actors like Harrison Ford, Sebastian Stan, Tim Blake Nelson, Anthony Mackie, Liv Tyler, Rosa Salazar, Danny Ramirez, and more. The trailer for this big new movie hasn't been released on any platform yet, but is expected to come out later this year, according to a report by Collider. It's still not clear if there will be any more superhero team-ups in this MCU film, but it's been common for important superheroes to join forces against villains in these movies ever since The Avengers. Who's currently portraying Captain America? You gotta stop looking to other people to tell you who you are. The role of Captain America is currently being played by Sam Wilson. He was part of The Avengers for a long time before the original Captain America passed on his legacy to Wilson. The newest movie in the Captain America series, Captain America Brave New World, will be released on February 14, 2025. It will feature Anthony Mackie and other actors in important roles. Tim Blake Nelson, who stars in Captain America Brave New World, has praised Marvel Studios and director Julius Ona for aiming to create a reality-based superhero movie with a sequel led by Anthony Mackie. Appearing as a guest on Michael Rosenbaum's Inside a Few podcast, Nelson, who is reprising his role as Samuel Stearns, also known as the leader from The Incredible Hulk, teased that the fourth Captain America film will be a more grounded superhero story. He mentioned that they took a practical approach in creating his character. I am really happy about Brave New World, Nelson said. It's a movie directed by Julius Ona. They were fully committed to making the character as practical as possible without relying on digital effects. Samuel Stearns, played by Nelson, was last seen in 2008's The Incredible Hulk, lying on the ground where his transformation into the character known as the leader appeared to start. The character was influenced by Bruce Banner's blood, which greatly boosted his mental capabilities, so Brave New World will probably explore that further. As part of the next batch of Marvel movies after Deadpool and Wolverine, Captain America Brave New World is one of the few MCU films coming out on Disney's schedule this year. In Captain America Brave New World, Thunderbolt Ross will have his biggest role yet in the MCU. This character was played by the late William Hurt in movies like 2008's The Incredible Hulk and 2016's Captain America Civil War. Now, Harrison Ford is taking over the role after Hurt's death. Ross is moving up in the world during the Multiverse Saga, as he's become the new US president after the events of 2023's Secret Invasion. Ford's Ross didn't seem to be openly hostile towards Anthony Mackie's Sam Wilson and other heroes. In the footage shown at CinemaCon, Ross thanks Cap for helping recover a valuable material from a Japanese mining site and asks him to reform the Avengers. This material is called the Find of the Millennium, and a popular fan theory suggests it's adamantium, the unbreakable metal that covers Wolverine's bones. The Japanese scientist Lord Darkwin was the first to suggest a way to attach adamantium to a human skeleton. 
His idea was used by the clandestine Weapon X program, which performed the procedure on their former mutant operative, Wolverine. Wolverine's mutant healing ability helped him survive the procedure and caused a change in the metal, turning it into a new type called Adamantium Beta, which doesn't interfere with the natural processes of bone. Previous rumors suggested that the frozen celestial Tiamut from Eternals will be the source of adamantium. The Japanese will discover how to turn it into a steel alloy. So will Sam Wilson's upgraded Captain America suit be made from adamantium? If his shield is made from vibranium and his suit from adamantium, Wilson could stand a good chance against Red Hulk. This is just a theory, but it seems likely. After the Hollywood strikes ended in November 2023, Disney delayed the release of Captain America New World Order by seven months to February 14, 2025 to allow for reshoots. During an earnings call, Disney CEO Bob Iger mentioned that he is particularly excited about Captain America 4 as one of the 2025 releases. We suspect the conflict in Captain America 4 revolves around the search for more of this valuable metal. Ross sees it as a way to develop bigger and better weapons to protect his country. Just as Chris Evans and Steve Rogers rebelled against S.H.I.E.L.D. in 2014's Captain America The Winter Soldier, Sam may not agree with Ross's militaristic views. At some point, Ross's obsession with protecting his country might lead him to undergo the procedure to become Red Hulk. This Captain Ahab-like figure could end up becoming the very thing he always hated most. Can Cap and Danny Ramirez's Joaquin Torres or Falcon stand up to a Hulk unleashed? It's likely that Tim Blake's Nelson's The Leader will play a key role in creating a Red Hulk, as he did in the comics. The Leader is probably the main villain in the movie, with Red Hulk being a pawn he can manipulate to fight Captain America and Falcon. There's also the question of what role, if any, Ford's character will play in 2025's Thunderbolts. How closely is Captain America 4 setting up that film? Are the Thunderbolts named in honor of General turned President turned Hulk? We'll have to wait and see how Red Hulk becomes a member of the Thunderbolts after his fall from Grace and Brave New World. These are interesting questions to consider as we await the next wave of MCU movies after Deadpool and Wolverine. Each member would have a part of a snake tattoo that opens up to a cybernetic enhancement underneath. Diamondback could shoot things from their fingers, Rattler could make sonic booms, Constrictor would have electric coils, Asp would have fiery punches, and Cobra could spit acid. Unfortunately, the latest news is that Marvel is considering removing the Serpent Society from this movie completely. This would be a huge disappointment for fans who are looking forward to seeing this iconic team in the MCU. However, fans can still hope for some awesome deleted scenes. The plot of the movie is being kept secret for now. However, it's known that Thunderbolt Ross and the leader will likely be the main villains. Shira Haas is going to play the controversial superhero Sabra in Captain America Brave New World. A new report suggests that the character will be introduced as a mutant. Are you excited for the new movie? Do let us know in the comments below. Also, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. See you all in the next video.